we're headed into interspecies spiritual practice of seagulls. So let me introduce to you a little bit about this practice today. And thank you, Joan, so much for reading those tenets so beautifully for us. So today's interspecies practice comes from animal chaplain Jody Jacobs, who's founder of the Fosters and Ferals Challenge. In 2021, she challenged herself to make a donation to a different animal organization every single day of the year for 365 days. Her goal was to help as many organizations as possible, big or small, by donating and then raising awareness to each one of those organizations. I'm going to post her list um, for you all in, in the chat of 365 animal-related organizations. I know most of you um, know a lot of great organizations as well, but there might be a few new here to discover. In the practice, Jody takes inspiration from our winged neighbors. And as birds all over the world are involved in migrations right now, some safely and others with pretty big risks due to the challenges of sky rises, if you've been following what's going on in Chicago, heartbreak. Uh, overlit cities, weather changes, the difficulties of migrating are really, really tough on winged beings. So as we engage in this practice today, I'm going to help us dedicate it to the well-being of birds everywhere. Take a deep breath and just listen to Jody's voice, watch the visuals, and pour your heart out in hopes of the safety and well-being of winged beings on this planet. Phil, you can roll the video. Today's interspecies spiritual practice is called Soaring with Seagulls. We're here at the beach where some of my favorite beings usually congregate. Those beings are seagulls. Unfortunately, many people are not as fascinated by seagulls as I am. In fact, some people chase them and throw rocks at them. I can't comprehend why people would treat them in this way. Seagulls are considered to be among the most intelligent birds in the world and are found on every continent including the Arctics. Seagulls can fly as fast as 28 miles per hour. They generally live between 5 and 15 years, although some have a lifespan of over 30 years. Depending on the type of gull, their body weight ranges from 4 ounces to 4 pounds. Their height 11 to 30 inches, and they have a wingspan of 24 to 67 inches. 67 inches, that's nearly six feet. Sadly, seagulls have been mistreated and misunderstood for a very long time, but not today. Today, we will honor them. I want to dedicate this meditation to my special seagull friend, Paul, who visits me at my home nearly every day. Let's begin. Sit comfortably with both feet on the ground. Place your palms together in front of your heart and set an intention to send love to seagulls everywhere. Once you are finished with your intention, rest your hands on your lap, either palms up or palms down, whichever is most comfortable for you. Now close your eyes and picture yourself at the beach. Take a couple of slow, deep breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Breathe in, breathe out. Continue breathing in and out at a pace that feels right for you. Allow yourself to completely let go and breathe. Notice how relaxed and comfortable you feel. Pay attention to any sounds you hear. Perhaps you can feel a slight breeze. Be aware of any smells. Can you taste the salt water on your tongue? Feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. Remember, you are completely safe and protected at all times. Now imagine you are a seagull. Feel yourself flying through the sky. How does it feel? What does it smell like? What is the view like from up in the sky? How far can you see? Does it make you feel free? Continue to fly around, taking it all in. Seagull, you fly across the horizon into the misty morning sun. Nobody asks you where you are going. Nobody knows where you're from. Now you fly through the sky never asking why. And you fly all around until somebody says, come down. Now it's time for you to come back down to the beach. Slowly feel yourself coming back to your body. Notice your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Wiggle your fingers and toes and bring awareness back inside your body. Take your time. Continue with your slow breaths. And when you are ready, 
you can open your eyes. Thank you for joining me in this practice and for sending love to seagulls everywhere. Mm, I hope that brought some of you a few moments or minutes of peace in the middle of the world's chaos. Thanks to Jody Jacobs and thanks to Seagull Paul.